I'm DJ Premier, and I present to you, So What's Up. Okay, computer. Run it back. So what's up? This was extra special for an extra reason. First of all, we're talking about Gangstar. DJ Premier and the Guru, rest in peace to Guru. You are forever missed and you are forever still popping with the music. It never goes away. You're always here, all right? Shout to Big Shug, the co-founder of The Chain and The Star. Shout to Atlanta, which is actually where Gangstar was birthed, even though it's a Boston-based and bred group. Way before I joined, I am the third generation of Gangstar, all right? If you know, you know. Shout out to all the affiliates before me, from Mike D, he DJ Wanna Be Down, to Damo D Ski, to, oh, shout out to my man Sean Ski. Word, up in Canada doing his thing. Uh, another part of it. Shout out to DJ Tommy Hill, part of the East New York Gangstar Foundation, who was DJing for Gangstar at gigs before I actually was fully in New York to be in J. Root of Damages DJ. So shout out to Tommy Hill. The extra special part is because this year marked from 1994 to 2024 our 30th anniversary of our album hard to earn okay my favorite album cover of all the records we've ever done it just resonated so differently with the way we were uh next to our former manager patrick moxie's office which had, was right down the block and it was our first time working with Danny Hastings, who became our permanent photographer for all of our other Gangster albums, and Jay with the Damages' first two albums, the Wu-Tang Clan's first album, 36 Chambers, you know, just so many artists. And uh, with that said, it was a new twist on the look, location, and how everything should be when our next album, which was now our fourth, you know what I'm saying? So. No matter how you do your artistry, especially when it comes to your covers and things that attract you to, you know, want to buy the products, whatever, you know, comes from in here, put it out there that way. If it's not from in here, it's not authentic. Everything is felt when we do our thing. Now, this song was really important because being that the gang star, really every member except for myself, is not, I'm from Texas and they're all born and raised and bred in Boston. They considered a Boston group way before I joined, you know what I'm saying? And also shout to Suave D. That's the first Gangstar DJ, which is Big Shug's brother, all right? So shout to him as another member of the group that I did not mention. With that said, one thing that resonated with me was Guru said, for the years we've been living in Brooklyn and for the years we were living in the, in the Bronx on 183rd, you know, we were living in East New York for at a time. Then we moved to Clinton Hills. We, I mean, we moved to 183rd in the Bronx. We've been around. But the thing that really struck was a lot of people were like, ah, he claimed in Brooklyn, and so was I. Ah, uh, he claimed New York, he claimed New York. And we didn't violate anything. We kept it true to what was supposed to be done then. And there's nothing to even rewind on. Appreciate what we gave you, and we still give it to you that way. Whether we cut another record or not, the music will never stop existing. And with that said, he said because of the flack he kept getting, he really wanted to do a record explaining his journey and why. And there's a lot of people in Boston, you know, so many icons in Boston. Shout out to all of you. There is a lot of people in Boston that was like, nah, man, you did the right thing moving. Yeah, You know, he felt like staying there, yeah, it's just your town, it's just at the time of the opportunities to get to another level in the music business in the 80s, you really had to be where it was at. And it was New York at that time. You know, if it had been later on, I probably wouldn't have made the journey the same way either. But being that my mother's from the East Coast, from Baltimore, Maryland, and being that my grandfather lived in Brooklyn, that was my first connection that got me excited with the city. And it just kept going higher and higher to where I was like, one day that's where I'm gonna be. This is before even hip hop. So. You know, that, that's what adds to my strength and knowledge and just thirst and hunger to make sure I always keep it pure and uncut. Now, with that said, he wants to explain his journey so people understand this is why I left. This is why I'm here. This is why I continue to give you nothing but greatness. That song is called 
the planet. Check it out. And as I said before, it's a 30 year old song, 30 year old album. Again, shout to Big Suge. Actually, we gotta do an episode of that. That was Suge's debut on a Gangstar record ever from when he came out of prison. And the crazy thing is, uh, Guru did that beat. It's the only beat he did on the album. And he presented it to me and said, yo, Suge spit on it, tell me what you think. The best part of that song, and actually this could just blend into this episode and we don't have to do, yeah, we can still do it. There's other things, because now, you know, I might bring Suge on to talk about the journey to that point, to get into that song being on the album. And check this out. The best part of F-A-L-A, which means fuck around, lay around, don't get it all twisted with F-A-L-A, fuck around, lay around. The ill part is, being that they presented it to me, I didn't know the sugar was going to rhyme. Guru did the beat. And when you hear the line, he said, I did my time and now I'm free. You hear Guru go, yeah, like, yes, yeah, sir. Matter of fact, play that. I'm not a punk motherfucker, see. I did my time and now I'm free. I'm a dope one, ready to rip and wreck shot. That, that, just that feeling right there. I was like, yeah, let's put this on the album. So it was his debut and also... You know, 30 years off of that too. So, back to this. The song actually, shout to NPR. You know what I'm saying? NPR did a three sample, um, how would I call it? A breakdown, which you know I'm not into doing at all. I like to still have the mystique of you figuring it out yourself if you dig for records like we do. So, that's why I've always kept it like that. But these... When I started going through the clearing phase of sampling, these are cleared so it's all good and uh, everything's everything. But this one, if you, I'll show little pieces because I can also explain it. Actually, I'll explain it and then let you see me explain why it hit me here to make the record with that sample. Then we'll get back to what this disc do, all right? Now this NPR segment that they did was called DJ Premier's Sonic Inspiration in three samples. That segment included three songs that I covered in the formula of how I did it. One was the Notorious B.I.G.'s Kicking the Door. The next one was the one we're gonna get to, which is The Planet, and also from the Owner's album, Nice Girl Wrong Place from Curtis Mayfield, which Featured Boy Big from Missouri. Shout to Boy Big, one of the illest singers in this game. Shout to Missouri, you know what I'm saying? Now, the planet. When Guru, which everybody knows, always gives me the titles to the songs and I start to work on matching the titles, which I'm gonna show you in the segments of that NPR sketch because it's, it's so important, all right? But when it came to looking for those sounds to go into the planet, you know, record being recorded. I stumbled across a record that I dug for by a guy named Steve Davis. The album was called Music, but the crazy thing is it had music, you know, slant, Steve Davis. Now the crazy thing also is the cover was just like some weird, just multicolors of waves on the front, right? But we read credits, especially all of us that dig, we look for sounds, we look for what label this on, we look for who produced it, we look at who, what instruments are being played. We're that into the digging process of records. And because of that, when I flipped it over, I'm looking at the personnel of everybody that played horns, drums, you name it. But one of the illest funketeers y'all know from Parliament, Funkadelic, and all the affiliates, Bootsy's Rubber Band, Parlet, The Brides of Funkenstein, Quasar, Xavier, Eddie Hazel, Michael Hampton, Fuzzy Haskins, Rest in Peace Gary Scheider, Rest in Peace of Glenn Goins. Uh, I could go on and on and on. You know what I'm talking about, George Clinton, all right? And congratulations on your star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yes, indeed. Well-deserved, George. Uh, so funky. With that said, I'm looking at the credits, vocals, George Clinton, organ, George Clinton, piano, George Clinton, these are on different songs, harpist chord, George Clinton, vibraphone, George Clinton, think I ain't taking this record with me? Now, watch the NPR. <laughs> Right 
right there, I was like, yo. I didn't have to go any further. With Gangstar, it's always title first, and then the music has to mimic the 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 the, uh, the theme of the title. So Guru, he'll already have ideas. Like I'm gonna do a song about how I took my trip from Boston to New York and finally made it, and how it was a dream to make it here in New York. So I felt like it needs to be like a driving little, like just just ride with that one one hand on the wheel, not two, just one hand on the wheel riding. And it, I could just visualize Guru saying saying those lyrics about how he had to move. Why he's just telling the story with one hand on the wheel. It took the last of my loot to make this move true, but I ain't even trying to work in a suit. Now that you know all of that, you know this. All the sounds are contained in this floppy disk right here. The data is then transferred into our weapon of choice. A lot of us produces in the 90s era. The Akai S950 sampler, right? Once those samples are inserted in there and saved on this, how are we going to play it and program it into a beat? The Akai MPC-60 was my weapon of choice, courtesy of Eddie Sancho, putting me onto it when we started working on Daily Operation, which was when I started to transfer from the SP-1200 drum machine, which you see right there, which has now made a comeback, all right? And the Alessis drum machine that I also used before I went all the way into the MPC-60 and later the MPC-62. Shout to Roger Lynn. All right, and I said it before, if you know, you know. So legendary, so iconic. All right, now with all of that inside the disc, in order to make it play, there's a sync box called the Roland SBX80. That's where we're in all the studios, no matter where you went to sync up the machines to speak to not Pro Tools, not Logic yet. Two inch tape. That was the only way. There was other ways, but that was like, when you made it to the pros, you want two inch tape. And that's what we were putting this on, okay? Now, how are they gonna all start together to make the machines do what they're supposed to do? Okay, there's a thing called time code. Rather yet, we call it SMPTE, S-P-M-T-E, SMPTE, all right? Wait, S-M-P. T E, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You know, don't edit that. <laughs> Simpty S M P T E. All right. <laughs> Back to the program. All right. Now that all of those things are linked, the only other thing to really make it go and get those sounds is I have to load this up. Yes, load it into the machine. And then when you load it in, hit the disc button and then put everything onto pads from the reading of the drum machine and PC 60 or 62 into the S950 through the sync box of the SBX 80 by Roland. You press record and play and you get this. Dash, I had to break, I had to get away Pack my bags to leave for good It was a Monday Kissed my mother, gave my pops a pound Then he hugged me And then he turned around I threw the duffel bag over my shoulder It was time to get props, kid Cause now I'm older Time to fend for myself, Jack So I'ma go for mine And maybe never come back Stopped at the last spot before I hit the train station Needed some room for the mental relaxation It took the last of my loot to make this move true But I ain't even trying to work in a suit There you have it, the planet Hey, one of my favorites The journey was explained by Guru He didn't have to explain anymore And if you didn't know then, play that record now you know Again, salute to our 30 year anniversary of the album Hard to Earn Alright and oh, shout out to Matt Gunther, who did the actual orange coloring of the album. Danny Hastings, dope on the shots. Matt Gunther on just making it that, that orange color. I've never seen a hip hop album like that, and I love that album cover. Salute to everything that's real, and salute to the planet. All right, and they call Brooklyn the planet. I know I didn't say that in the beginning, but 
And if you say, yo, yo, where you headed, man? Oh, I'm headed to the planet. Or Medina, or BK, or, you know, there's so many things for Brooklyn, but those are some of the key ones. All right, so shout to the planet, shout to the floppy disk, and that's what's up. I'm working in a mail room, uptown, feeling sick and tired of paying all these fucked up dues. I wasn't trying to lose. I refused. I had a chick uptown, one in Queens and one in Jersey. Sometimes all you need to get by is a girl.